and welcome back today at four. Jeff Benson and Michael McCarty joining us from the city of Mankato today to tell us a little bit about the updates that we need to know and that you all have been asking us over on questions or through our Facebook messages. So thank you both for being here today to give us an update. One thing I want to start with is yesterday we were talking a lot about a levee system that is in place. Now that the Minnesota River has crested, can we just recap exactly what that levee system is and also the city's confidence in the system? So the levee system is a, a combination of earthen levees and concrete walls that uh, run along both the Blue Earth and Minnesota rivers uh, through the city of Mankato, protecting West Mankato downtown, um, as well as the portion of Mankato that's on the west side of the river as well. Um, we regularly inspect and maintain uh, both the stormwater pumping stations that remove water from behind the levee, as well as do inspections of the levee facilities. Um, on an annual basis several times a year to make sure that everything's in good working order, um, there's no debris, and uh, the integrity is there. So when we do experience these events that, that we as staff have confidence in it and we can assure the public that there's confidence in their system so they can go about their daily lives without having to be concerned um, of impacts from major flooding. Right, so um, if you could talk a little bit more kind of about the locations and stuff of the levees and uh, especially the earthen levees that are being built. Um, can you talk any bit about the reasoning behind where they are, um, the kind of their purpose? Um, the city of Mankato levees uh, are along Sibley Park, um, along the Blue Earth River, and then um, there's some natural protection through the sliding hill at Subway Park and then the, the levee continues as an earthen levee through the North Star Bridge and then through the core of downtown, um, it's a concrete wall and then returns to earthen levee um, by Riverfront Park. On the west side of the river, there's an earthen levee roughly from the Highway 14 bridge uh, through the street of Pauley Way, which is where the city limits change. It continues as an earthen levee, levee through the city of North Mankato, but that's the section that the city of Mankato is responsible for. Michael, thank, thank you. you for that answer. And also, you know, we are seeing most of our impacts. We have video to show if production can play that now of our parks really being impacted by the flooding. What other areas are we experiencing flooding right now? And if flooding is happening, should people go up and see the floods that are happening or how can people stay safe if they are curious? At this time, uh, just observe the closures that are in place, the park closures that have been listed for uh, the last number of days. Uh, stay, stay off the trails, stay out of the parks. Um, we just don't have the capacity to patrol those uh, continually through, through this uh, event. Uh, our staff are very busy just trying to, to keep up with the demand of everything that's going on right now. Thank right. you. And if homes and businesses are being flooded right now, what can people in Mankato do if they need help now? Call 311. Uh, that number is still staffed through uh, this event and they can get us uh, in touch with the um, Emergency Operations Center and start directing resources. Thank you so much. We're running out of time now, but thank you both for joining us today. And still